Welcome to the web tutorial Using NHATS, Part 3, Documentation. First, let's go over what you can expect to learn. In this video, we will describe documentation that is available for NHATS, including available user guides, instruments used to collect the data, crosswalks between the instrument items and variables in the data files, descriptions of data collection materials, and available technical papers. All documentation is available on the NHATS website. To find the NHATS documentation, go to the NHATS website, click the researcher page, then you can choose the NHATS button here on the left hand side of the page or at the top right menu. Here you can see the different types of NHATS documentation. Let's start with the NHATS user guides. The NHATS User Guide provides comprehensive descriptions of the NHATS conceptual framework, content, data file structure, created measures, and other relevant topics. A separate guide on how to account for sample design and NHATS analyses is also provided. There are also additional user guides released for specific supplement data collections, such as the Dried Blood Spot or DBS assays and the COVID-19 supplement. Next, let's take a look at the NHATS instruments, which provide detailed information about question wording and skip patterns. You can navigate to the instruments from this page, or if you were on the previous page, you can select the Instruments button. When you click on Instruments, you will see two columns for each year. The first column has instruments for living sample persons. The second column has a subset of instruments used for the last month of life interview. Let's take a look at an example of an SP instrument. This is the mobility or MO section. The top of each section of the instrument indicates the round number, followed by the section abbreviation and section name. For each question, the instrument includes the item number and assigned variable name and label. Display instructions that are programmed into the computer-assisted personal interview appear just below the item number. Display instructions help the user understand if questions were worded differently for different groups of respondents. Next, you can see the question text. When question wording or fills vary for different groups, the text will be shown parenthetically. Just under the question text is the set of codes and answers displayed to the interviewer. Boxes are used to skip respondents around items, as shown here for box M02. Finally, at the end of each section, any derived and flagged variables are listed along with variable labels. The instrument variable crosswalks offer the user a mapping of items in the instruments to variables in the data files. To access this documentation, you can click the Instrument Variable Crosswalk button on the Researcher NHATS page. Two types of crosswalks are available the final crosswalk for the round, and the crosswalk that captures any change between the beta and final release of a file. For each crosswalk, both PDF and Excel formats are available. Let's take a look at an Excel version. The crosswalk includes questionnaire item, variable name, variable label, and file location. The crosswalk also presents whether the item is new in the current round and whether it is part of the last month of life interview. The Excel versions are helpful because they allow the user to sort by variable name as well as item name. Clicking on the Data Collection Materials button brings you to a page with data collection procedures and show cards used in each round. Data collection procedures include copies of materials sent to respondents, details about interview procedures, and details about administration of various activities. Show cards used during in-person data collection are also available here. Finally, NHATS produces a series of technical papers to assist users with various issues. The first group of technical papers document the NHATS sample design, how weights are created, and procedures for imputing income. Under Other, more substantive technical papers are available. For instance, NHATS provides guidance on implementing a dementia classification algorithm along with programming statements. Another technical paper explains how to make population estimates with NHATS that align with Medicare and census counts. This tutorial was produced by Men Yao Hu, Sarah Patterson, and Vicki Friedman with funding from the National Institute on Aging. 
This ends the web tutorial using NHATS, part three, documentation. Comments and questions may be sent to nhatsdata at westat.com.